Hello scientists, this is the walkthrough video for lab 27 from Take Home Physics. First thing I'm going to do is create a new Google Sheets. This will be our data collection system. Let's name it Physics Lab 027 Data Collection. It's always good to set up your data collection system before you start the lab. The first column will be for the number of washers that I will be hanging from a rubber band. I'll be hanging one washer, three, and six. The mass of one washer in grams, according to my kitchen scale, is about seven grams. I need to convert this to kilograms. Since there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram, I'll make a formula to do a unit conversion. That's my grams divided by 1,000. Let's copy that formula and paste it into the cells below. The next column will be for the total mass of the washers in kilograms. So this will be the number of washers that I'm hanging times the mass of one washer in kilograms. And let's go ahead and copy that formula and paste it into the cells below. The next column will be for my gravitational field strength, little g. On Earth, that's 9.81 meters per second squared. I won't put the units in. The next column will be for the weight, the weight of the washers. This is the product of, and the units are newtons, the weight of the washers is the product of the total mass of the washers in kilograms multiplied by the gravitational field strength. And that's how many newtons of force those washers are pulling down on the rubber band with. What I'll be measuring in this lab is the length of the rubber band in centimeters. And I need to convert these lengths to meters. So my last column will be the rubber band length in meters. There are 100 centimeters in one meter. So I'll set up a conversion formula, divide my centimeters by meters by 100. Let's copy and paste that formula into the cells below. Let's make sure it works. So let's say we get a rubber band length of 8.5 centimeters. Great, you can see the conversion worked. Grab your materials, you need a ruler. We'll be using the centimeter side of the ruler. You need a thin rubber band, as thin as possible, a paper clip, and six metal washers, six metal washers. Grab that thin rubber band and just stretch it out a little bit. Don't break it, but just give it a little stretch. Grab your paper clip and we're gonna make a hook out of this paper clip. So open it up and then open one end slightly. We'll be putting washers on that end. And take the other end of the paper clip and hook it onto the rubber band and close it so it doesn't come off. Now we have a nice little hook. Grab your ruler with the zero on top and then put your rubber band right on the top of the ruler. Grab one washer, put it on the hook, and then measure the length of the rubber band. That's about 9.4 centimeters. I'll record that into my data collection system. Now grab two more washers, put it on the hook, and that's about 9.8 centimeters. 
I'll record that. And grab three more washers for a total of six. Place those three washers on the hook. And then take a look at how long the rubber band is now. That's about 10.5 centimeters for me. And I'll record that number to my data collection system. Time to clean up. Let's take those six washers off the hook, put those back in our kit, take the paper clip hook off, and we can save that paper clip, use it again. Put your rubber band back in the kit, put your ruler back in the kit, and put away your data collection system. All right, let's do some data analysis. Notice here are all of my rubber band lengths. They've been converted into meters. I'm going to make a scatter plot of some of this data. And this scatter plot is going to help me make predictions. Let me resize this chart just so that I can see all of my numbers. And I want a scatter graph, scatter chart, scatter plot. The x-axis will be the weight of the washers. And I'm going to highlight one, one empty cell below my data because I'm going to make a prediction in a bit. My series will be my rubber band length in meters. And again, I'm going to highlight one empty cell below my data to make a prediction. Okay, there's our three data points. We have an unlabeled chart, unlabeled graph. That's no good. So let's label this chart. I'll call it Hooke's Law for a rubber band in parentheses. I'll change the font size to 12. I like the way that looks. Our horizontal axis, that's our X axis. This was the weight of our washers in Newtons. And the vertical axis, that's our rubber band length in meters. Great, so we have our chart all labeled. Next thing I'm gonna do is go to series, and I'm gonna plot what's called a trend line. And I can use this trend line to make predictions. Pretty linear relationship between weight of washers and rubber band length. I want the equation of this line. And this equation I can use to make predictions. The first number is the spring constant. And the second number is what is likely the length of the unstretched rubber band, so the rubber band at rest. That seems about right, about 9.2 centimeters. So let's imagine that I put 10 washers on this rubber band. The mass of one washer is 7 grams, or 0 0.007 kilograms. The total mass is 10 washers times the mass of one. We're gonna do this experiment on Earth, so gravitational field strength is 9.81. The weight of the washers is the total mass times the gravitational field strength. Okay, if I put 10 washers on the rubber band, what will be the length of that rubber band in meters? Well, I can use our equation from our trend line to make a prediction. So that's 0.0322 times the weight of the washers in newtons plus the length in meters of the unstretched rubber band. And there we go. That makes sense. The rubber band's going to be a little bit longer with 10 washers on it, about 0 0.114 meters. There are 100 centimeters in a meter, so to convert that, I'll multiply it by 100. So the rubber band will be about 11.4 centimeters with 10 washers on it. Nice, we made a prediction. And that's it. Good work. See you, scientists.